Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on Space Coach today I've got a Skylon update for you. Now, yesterday it was announced that British Aerospace are going to be taking a 20% stake in Reaction Engines Limited, the parent company that's developing Skylon, for £20.6 million. That will value the entire company at £103 million. Uh, what's that, 150 £160 million? Not sure on the exact exchange rate. Now, the two companies are going to form a partnership to help build a demonstration engine slash prototype that's going to allow this hypersonic travel or suborbital missions, as we discussed in my earlier video last year. Apparently, it's going to cost up to about £240 million to produce a working engine on the ground. So, obviously, access to British Aerospace is technical and engineering talent pool will really help the engines progress hugely. And it's not just, in fact, the British Aerospace have invested this uh, £20 million. Um, the European Space Agency, obviously from time to time they're doing their various tests on this thing to see is it a thing or is it just a pie in the sky. Obviously we know they believe it is actually a thing. And um, the British government's £60 million investment that was announced a long time ago, um, that is now able to flow to the company now that these various checklists, as it were, have been completed and that there isn't a problem with just losing the money all in one go. Now, the piece of tech that's going to allow the plane to um, make those uh, high speeds is uh, the air cooler, which that's what cools the incoming airstream from over a thousand degrees centigrade to minus 150 degrees centigrade in one hundredth of a second. Now obviously reaction engines they've been working on that for about 30 years time now ever since the days of the old hotel. It is the critical component that will allow those engines to work as advertised and open up all those new markets and possibilities for um, transcontinental travel from the UK to Australia in four hours, to be able to put um, payloads into the Earth orbit and constantly reusing the Skylon vehicle, all that sort of thing, you know, it'd be fantastic. Um, you know, perhaps it is an idea whose time has finally come, both technically and financially. I know often the various Skylon vehicles, they do look a little bit 1960s Thunderbirds, but maybe we're actually going to be coming back to that type of technology once it has been improved. Um, I did read somewhere uh, during this announcement of this um, this investment by British Aerospace that um, Skylon engines, you know, um, this concept, it's comparable to when someone first thought, you know what, why don't we put a propeller onto an internal combustion engine and see what happens? <laughs> Well, we know what happens. It's transformed the world. This could also do the same. Although, I mean, that was a much bigger step back then, 120, 115, whatever it was, years ago, to put a propeller on an engine to now be doing this incredibly complicated engine. But obviously the principle is the same. It is the huge leap of faith that will take you to the next stage of the technology. I mean, we have been stuck on um, jet engines being at like five, six hundred miles an hour for a long time. I mean, Concorde's been retired. We have no supersonic civil travel. Obviously, many planes can fly um, that fast, and possibly even some of them hypersonic. There's that recent Chinese jet, obviously. But yes, we definitely need to advance the state of our technology. Like we do with the cars, we should be getting rid of internal combustion engines for that. You know, we definitely need to make our engines much more efficient and do a lot more. I mean, why should it just be able to just fly from point A to point B? Why can't it go into space as well? <laughs> Which, obviously, that is what reaction engines are going for with their two-stage type of engine. Anyway, guys, I just thought I'd just let you know this quick update to reaction engines. It's all very exciting. Um, several years from now, we could have an actual prototype, not just of the engine, but of the plane under construction. Obviously, British Aerospace, they can build planes and they have built planes. Although, obviously, I think reaction engines intent is really just to design the engine and then, as well, subcontract out the uh, fuselage. But we'll see what happens. Maybe BAE will build the whole thing themselves. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Or hit that like button. 